I've been waiting for a game like this for literally five years. I've asked so many times the million dollar idea just make a world battle simulator. It's that simple. I mean, I don't know if it's simple to do that as a game designer. I don't, I'm not a game designer, but the idea is right in front of you. That's all you gotta do. It's a million dollar idea. I don't know if it'll make you a million dollars either, but I know that I'm gonna love it. And finally, I think I have found it. We have a world map here with all the countries, and every time I hit enter, something like an annexation is gonna take place, a colony will take place, sometimes even a union forms up. This game is called Earth Royale by Lizzie. You can find it on itch.io. With the newest update, there's actually seven possible events that can take place. Sometimes a random country will get divided based on what other countries are closest to it. An annexation could take place where a random province of a random nation is given to the closest country to that province. A union, like I already said. A revolt, the game picks a random culture in a random country and makes each province with that culture independent. That's a fun one. Colonization is the fifth. Expanding is the sixth. I guess you're just given a random amount of provinces next to you. And then finally, shrinking. A nation just gets smaller. This might literally be the closest thing ever to Drudronel the game. I also really like that they gave some Native American countries independent territory just to make North America a bit more interesting. Now it would just be really awesome to have an option in the very beginning to instead of having one big USA divide them into 50 states. We could also choose to turn off different continents in the very beginning but of course we're gonna play with them all on here. So the top three nations starting off is Russia, the USA, and the People's Republic of China. Of course so much is gonna happen here that's probably not gonna stay like that. So the first thing to occur is that the Bahamas got divided by neighbors. Next, we have the Wind River getting annexed by the USA. Oh, and very early on, we have the Division of Taiwan. 3,000 social credit score for this map, but the island wasn't entirely taken by the mainland. Japan got a little bit of it as well. Tanzania expanding into neighbors. I accidentally just changed the entire colors of the map. Let me go ahead and just do that again. I do like this, so I can continue to refresh things until I get the exact colors right for each country. Everyone knows my OCD-ness about this by now. Like, France has to be blue. Great Britain should be red. I'm probably not going to keep refreshing, but I'm just saying. Oh, and we just had the country of Indonesia establish a colony in Japan. I don't know how they did that. That could be a problem, though. As we were reading the rules in the very beginning, a random province could be selected in Japan, and the neighbor closest to that province could be given most of the territory. So this is big for Indonesia. Vietnam has now established a colony in the UK. Wait, how many colonies is this? They have two? You can establish more than one? I guess Japan wasn't too happy about getting colonized by Indonesia. They had to take it out on somebody and they took it out on South Korea because of course it's historically accurate. They're actually looking pretty terrifying too by taking this piece of Taiwan as well. Indonesia better stop them from forming Imperial Japan again. Denmark has now established a colony in Canada and it seems reasonable. Just this little part right here. Russia getting parts of Egypt now. We've lost Costa Rica and Central America and we have also lost Greece as well. Wow Albania got a lot of that. Not Turkey so I mean it's anyone's game here. That's the fun part about this. Literally any country or any tiny little province can win. We also have the loss of Nicaragua and we have a pretty thick El Salvador and Honduras now. We also no longer have the penguins of Madagascar. They're very likely the penguins of Panama. Wait, Panama? I did see the Panama established a colony in Madagascar. I didn't announce it. And as you can see, establishing a colony is a really big deal. You can end up annexing the whole place eventually. Denmark's borders have shrunk, although it looks like Denmark is just eliminated. Wait, they still have Greenland, don't they? Yeah, so they have been kicked out of Europe, but they still have Greenland and of course their colony in... Oh no, they lost that in Canada. Now here in the very beginning, I'm taking the events very slowly, but there is an auto simulate mode. I'll do that at the very end. Ukraine just got annexed, but not by the country you'd expect. So I don't know how much Russia would dislike this. They got annexed by Moldova. Also, uh, Transnistria. Trans the that river nation is here, actually. Australia expanded into neighbors. Which neighbors exactly? Not into New Zealand. Wait, who did you expand into? The, the Philippines? It must be some islands out here in the Pacific that I am not noticing. Oh boy, Russia expanding into neighbors. That one sounds familiar. Apparently, Portugal has just established a colony in Israel, and Russia is expanding by, um... Okay, you just took out Georgia, didn't you? It's getting weird. The Crow-Indians borders have shrunk. Norway just got divided by neighbors, so Sweden's looking extra thick. Swedes are gonna love this one. But also watch Germany. Germany's expanded into Denmark and Norway as well. Yemen getting a little bit of Saudi Arabian territory. Reverse card. And Sri Lanka got divided by neighbors. 
and by neighbors, it's just India didn't- yeah, all India. India is the closest, so I guess that makes sense. Oh no, Portugal! Oh, you just got completely eaten! Yeah, when your borders shrink, uh, you're very likely gonna lose your mainland stuff and just keep your colonies in, like, random islands. Indonesia has established another colony in Japan? Or did they lose it briefly? Or maybe they have an island out here that I'm not noticing. There's an auto camera that will, like, uh, find stuff for me, but sometimes I just like to do it myself. No, not Chad! No, not Chad! We have a very dominant Panama coming out of the Central America. American territory and China is now expanding into Mongolia. Cuba's the next one to fall. They're getting divided by neighbors. Wow, this is really divided too. The UK got most of it though. And they have an island around here in the Caribbean somewhere. Jamaica got some stuff and so did Mexico. We were first independence on the map. This is Tanzania who got annexed, getting their independence from Mozambique. Egypt got annexed by Russia. Russia is expanding a lot here. They're going to be far and away the number one nation. They're almost a hundred points ahead of the USA. Myanmar has established a colony in Guatemala again checking off things that I've literally never said in my life. And you'd be surprised at how many things I haven't said in my life. Albania just got annexed by North Macedonia. Philippines have expanded into neighbors. Which neighbors, though? Oh, they're using the updated uh, spelling for Turkey. Turkey established a colony in New Zealand. This is giving me some EU4 vibes when the Mamluks of Egypt colonize Australia usually. Sometimes New Zealand, too. Indonesia now has a colony in Vietnam. A very small one, but they're establishing colonies everywhere. India is attempting to take back Bangladesh slowly. And Croatia has taken Slovenia. Oh, it's getting hectic in the Balkans, not surprising. Serbia got annexed by Bosnia, and we're losing a Central Asian country. No, Finland! Russia has got to stop. Russia just keeps on going. So obviously, I think the game is somewhat, you know, like, the bigger you are, higher chance you're gonna do good. I just phrased that horribly, but I'm just gonna go with it. Because Russia has had such a good start, since they have, like, all these different colonies all around the world, they're gonna likely continue to grow, but it is possible that that doesn't happen. Again, Sweden looking really good here. And and Sweden just established a colony in Canada. Let's see if they can keep it unlike the way their rival Denmark did. Ooh, a united island here under Haiti. Belarus now gets annexed by Moldova. Be careful of this nation. Maybe a Moldova-Swedish alliance can form to stop Russia. North Macedonia has established a colony in Argentina. Maybe that'll be a good um, place to vacation to for them if they commit too many. Not San Marino! There are microstates in this game. As you can see, that very small dot is the Vatican. We've lost Monaco, but we have not lost Andorra just yet. And also, there's a tiny Liechtenstein. North Korea just got annexed, and it was mostly taken over by China and Japan. So Japan really is doing their old, like, empire thing. And so is China, I guess, because they established, they got rid of Mongolia, and they're trying to get their own piece of the peninsula. And there goes Argentina, Chile getting a lot of it, Bolivia and Paraguay. Remember, because North Macedonia established a colony, they got some provinces too. They're sitting at 22 right now, which is pretty good since they start off pretty low. UK just got divided by neighbors. We will not see a reformation of the British Empire here. And actually, Vietnam got most of this because they had all that stuff in Scotland. We just lost Ethiopia as well. And Italy's borders have shrunk slightly. Ooh, they lost the boot. And Sicily to Malta, the island nation of the Mediterranean's growing. Austria getting Auschwitz, but not by the nations you'd expect. Germany had nothing to do with this. It was Italy, the Czech Republic, and Slovenia. Oh, I thought Croatia annexed Slovenia. I think it was the other way around. Oh, the Vatican has been annexed by Italy. Sad day. Canada has expanded into neighbors. I'm not sure where. They probably kicked Sweden out. Indonesia with another colony, this time in Myanmar. Poland doing a little bit of African imperialization, going after this part of the Ivory Coast. Ooh, look at Laos go, expanding into just multiple neighbors. Vietnam, Cambodia. Reverse card, Japan has now established their own colony in Indonesia. That's all Indonesia's been doing all game. And Japan has expanded into neighbors. But nothing too significant over here. There goes Afghanistan next. No, Belgium! Waffle Land is gone, and of course, uh, uh, France got some stuff, and Luxembourg got some stuff. No Netherlands, though. Could we see a thick Luxembourg empire? <gasps> Sweden and Germany just united. We now, as you can see, have the Swedish-German empire. That's the first union I think we've had all game. That's a big one. Sweden was already doing pretty good. Now, I mean, they're really good. Are they in the top 10? They are in the top 10. They're in 10th place now at 81. They weren't before. Venezuela just got annexed by the Netherlands. We've also lost Vietnam. Laos getting a lot out of this. And Indonesia got some stuff, too, because they had a colony. Syria is getting annexed by 
Turkey. Turkey might be doing a little Ottoman thing here. And Bhutan's borders have shrunk. They are still around. Unlike Nepal, their other, like, Himalayan neighbor. Ooh, the USA has established a colony in Japan. They said open up their ports. Uh, I'm trying to think of that Bill Words quote, but I can't. Stop having the country be closed. There it is. There goes Bulgaria. More chaos in the Balkans. Turkey is slowly approaching, creeping in on Europe. And Hungary is now the next to be divided. The USA has almost gotten back all the land here. But I think they lost something in Mexico. I don't know when that happened. There's a big war just waiting to happen between India and Japan. And maybe Russia too. We have a pretty nice Romania growing here. Also Estonia who grabbed a little bit of southern Finland just got Latvia as well. New Zealand got annexed by Turkey. So Turkey has established their dominance in Oceania. Maybe not their dominance but they have a foothold for sure. Tonga and France. What a united union right there for you. Tonga and France. I can't think of two bigger countries that could come together. Now, to be fair, France was already in seventh place, or they were in the top 10. They might have gotten a little bit above. I haven't really been paying attention too much to uh, Tonga time. Tonga time might have pushed them above India at the very least. I need to stop saying India is so strong. And just like that, Canada has now established a colony in Tonga, France. I've never thought literally never said that in my life. Tongan France. What a unification though. Ireland got annexed by Tonga France. Man, I better stop talking so much ish around here. Watch this nation like win the game. Look, they have pretty much a union over all of the British Isles now. When did they kick everybody else out? Maybe Tonga had more than I was expecting. Turkey just got divided by Wow. All right, so clearly we're at that part of the game where bigger nations are going to start to disappear. Who got most of this? Cyprus? Cyprus and Romania. Of course, Russia got a lot too. Does anyone have a chance to even catch Russia? Russia's still about 100 points ahead of the USA, actually even more. Tonga France in sixth though. Oh, let's also not forget about the Swedish-Germany Union. They established a colony in the Solomon Islands. Australia has established a colony in Libya. Colombia is the next to be gone, this time in South America. Brazil has not done much at all here. Moldova. Moldova, the thick Moldova that was shielding Europe from Russia. They just got divided by neighbors. So Romania's doing good and so is Bosnia. Estonia just took a chunk out of Russia. That's a brave move. Russia taking Azerbaijan and now Poland's borders have shrunk. Let's not have that happen again, Poland. I'm scared for you. Cambodia's gone. Laos really taking over in Southeast Asia. Ooh, India. Oh, damn. That was not just any sort of like shrinking borders. Those are some hardcore. I thought the whole country was going to get annexed for a second there. So there's no way India's in the top 10 anymore, that's for sure. Nigeria's gone in Africa, the highest populated African country. Well, I don't know. The year is 2,176. Who knows what population's looking like at this point. Italy's borders have shrunk once again. I, I mean, do they even exist anymore? Just barely. This is all the good Italian territory. There's a lot of population up here. A lot of that was taken by Tongan France. Man, what was I thinking saying? Talking all that mess in the very beginning. Canada got divided by its neighbors, and uh, that mainly just means the USA. So that has to pull the USA really close to Russia now. So just because they got a lot of it. Tonga France got a little bit. USA is only uh, like 35 away. Jamaica got annexed by Mexico. Remember, Jamaica had a lot of Cuba before. Can Mexico stand up to this behemoth though in North America? Iceland has expanded into neighbors. They pretty much just took over all of Greenland. Africa is really starting to be controlled by only a handful of nations. Laos just got annexed by Indonesia. So this is Indonesia's comeback right here. Laos had a lot before. Indonesia is now in third place. They were already pretty high. Transnistria and Russia just United. Why do I butcher that every time I try to pronounce? Okay, but they only had, I think, one province. It's just kind of a color change there. Car got divided. I love car. Italy just finally got put to death, this time by Switzerland. Italy had a very slow collapse there. Love that it was the Swiss, though, that put them out of their misery. Sweden and Germany got annexed by the USA, the Swedish-Germany Union. All right, so Tongan France better start to worry a little bit. Also, that's got to pull the USA ahead. Yep, the USA is number one now, pretty dominantly ahead too. The question is, can two unions be formed or Tongan France now unite with the USA at the same time? Can we get a an American Tongan French empire? Did I even say that right? There's a pretty big Israel forming in the Middle East here. Morocco got divided by neighbors. Spain getting a lot. Spain already had an Iberian Union. Now they're going after their old rival. No, Luxembourg. But at this point, I think Luxembourg had to be sacrificed for the glory of the Tongan French Empire. Mali somehow got a colony in the USA right here in South Carolina. <laughs> oh, my South Carolinans are going to love that. How's Mali doing? Mali's actually not doing too bad right here. 88 provinces under their control. Israel just got annexed by Cyprus. Look at Cyprus go. And the Philippines has now fallen mostly to Japan and Indonesia, the two dominant forces out here. Indonesia just got annexed by the country of Belize. Belize is 
now in the top 10, which Belize is not doing too bad. They have a, a lot of control over Central America. Peru's borders have also shrunk. Belize is now in third place in the world, and they got even more territory with the uh, division of Guatemala. Here's a big one. Iran just dropped. Yeah, they, these guys really have united the Balkans. It's a miracle. Oh, and Bosnia just established a colony in southern France, southern Tonga. I don't know what you want to call it. Wow, India is really collapsing here. Bangladesh got a bunch of stuff, and India just got annexed completely. Wow, they first expanded, and then they got completely annexed by Bangladesh. Haiti got annexed by Mexico. Haiti was looking pretty good before. Mexico's really expanding, which they got to. USA scary. Barbados got annexed by Tonga, France. Switzerland and the USA just united. Wow, look at those color changes. So we now have a Swiss America. This is literally a dream come true for me. Wish I had my Swiss flag flying in the background now. Although I'd look a little bit biased, huh? Brazil got annexed by- Oh! Brazil got annexed by Tonga, France. How- Where does that pull them to? Fourth place? Still behind Belize. They're, they still have a while to go. Switzerland and USA have established a colony in Switzerland, USA. <laughs> okay! I don't know what that means, but alright. South Africa got annexed by Zimbabwe, and the Dutch have now fallen. The Dutch have fallen mostly to Swiss USA and Tonga France. Again, that big rivalry. Poland is expanding into neighbors. There you go, expanding to Russia. And we've now lost Saudi Arabia. Ooh, big loss for China here. Whoa, huge loss for China. This is scary. Japan, please stop. And uh, Russia just got annexed. Ru we just lost all of Russia. Kazakhstan got, got a bunch of stuff. Poland, Estonia, Romania. So even though China took that huge L, they just kind of came back immediately afterwards. There goes Oman in the Arabian Peninsula, and Kenya is falling in Africa. I can't believe we lost Russia like that. I thought the game froze for a second. I got really freaked out. There goes Peru. Look at how strong Ecuador is looking. We're losing so many nations. It's crazy. Uh oh, this is going to be a big one. Cyprus just got divided. Yeah, Cyprus was doing really good. Australia now. We lose Australia mostly to Belize because they had most of Indonesia. And Tonga, France. I forgot about them. When did Tonga, France take over all of New uh, Turkish New Zealand? This history is getting really complicated. Tonga, France has established a colony in Mexico. Uh-oh. They're trying to get up behind enemy lines from the Swiss and American stuff. We have Catalonia gaining their independence from and Dora. Wait, really? Catalonia did get their independence, but it is uh, just one province. That is hilarious. I thought we were going to see a divided Iberia again, but nope. That's the small little thing they got. Kazakhstan just got annexed by Uzbekistan. Rwanda and the Democratic Republic. Uh, we have a unification happening with the Congo. And Standing Rock and Swiss... Okay, so you can do three united. You can do three unifications at once. We have now Standing Rock, Switzerland, USA. That's nice. We have some uh, Native American representation. The Arabian Peninsula is just a mess. Uh-oh, Mali got divided. Poland gets annexed by Romania. Romania's looking really good over there. Libya is getting annexed currently by Sudan. And Belize has just gotten entirely divided by neighbors. Wow. And Liberia is now loss. No, Chile! That's really good for Tongan France. Uzbekistan got annexed by, um, Ab- the nation I can't pronounce. Singapore, Malaysia established a colony in Standing Rock, Switzerland, USA. H how do you do the plural for Standing Rock? Spain just got annexed by Algeria. Whoa. Romania got even more stuff, getting all of Slovenia, who kind of united the Balkans. Wow. Wow. Tongan France has taken over almost all of- <gasps> Mexico, Standing Rock, Mex- there's a four-way union now. Mexico, Standing Rock, Switzerland, USA is now its own one thing. There, okay, we gotta start calling that by like an acronym. M double S U? M double S U. And Romania's borders have just shrunk. And they- and as soon as we established a name for them, M double S U just got, uh, pretty much divided. And it looks like Tongan France. Tongan France is very likely to win this game, I think. They've gotta be number one. I'm really rooting for them. I- I know I'm supposed to be not biased here, but it would just be funny, because I made fun of them in the beginning. <gasps> No! As soon as I say that, they just got divided by their neighbors. All of them. How... Why do I jinx them like this? And after Ecuador got most of South America, they just got taken over. All right, yes, the game is going to be doing some crazy things with the camera. Rwanda just got divided. This is pure chaos. Oh, Romania. Look at Romania go. Romania has most of Europe now, although their borders just shrank. And so has Japan's borders shrinking. They've been really quiet here. There goes Bangladesh, who had most of South Asia. Sudan just got annexed by Japan. Look at Japan. So now Japan is back in the game, although Japan wasn't in the game. Did Japan get kicked out for their mainland? I think they did. Romania 
Lithuania got annexed by Lithuania. Lithuania is tired of me not giving them enough credit for the Polish-Lithuanian Union came and just slapped Romania around. There's got to be only 10 nations left. This is it. China just took a kind of a small L. Okay, never mind. A pretty big L. Cameroon got annexed by Japan. Japan looks like the big one, but you never know in this game. I'm just trying to see, like, who's even left. Brunei got divided. There's probably some small nations, too, that still need to get eaten up. Bahrain got annexed by Zimbabwe. Is this El Salvador that controls all of the Western Hemisphere? Estonia just got divided by neighbors. So who do we got here? We've got Lithuania, Japan, El Salvador. Lithuania just got annexed by Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe now, I think, is number one, but this is so chaotic, I don't even want to make a prediction. Watch Zimbabwe get annexed. Yep, Zimbabwe just got divided by neighbors. I am so glad that my computer has not blown up yet, but I think it might get close. El Salvador just lost a little bit of territory. We had an independent nation just form up. China's borders have shrunk. Japan's borders have shrunk. Brazil has gained independence from El Salvador. That might slow them down. El Salvador established a colony in Japan. It's really just Japan, China, El Salvador right now. Okay, uh, and they just united. Uh, Japan just united with a uh, small island. El Salvador just got annexed by Japan. <laughs> I've tried to keep up with this. Okay, okay, so Japan, basically Japan and China. It's basically just Japan and China, okay? It's down to the final two, and they just got divided. It's China. China just won, didn't they? P wait, 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 their borders just shrunk. Wait a second. What other nation is left? PRC got divided by neighbors. What do you mean? Oh, it's over. They would have got, oh, because there's only one nation left. People's Republic of China has won the game. After this video, I better get a free vacation to Shanghai. Four million social credits. Although I was rooting for a lot of random nations in this video. You have no idea how happy I am a game like this is fine been created like I have just wanted this for so long. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip R.F. Orton 5610. Alex Whitley Grandpa, is Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Of Fat Norwal. Arian After Hours. Barnes Bring CW, Back Poland Canadian Ball, Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover, Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. And Mimoshiki.